the Farm Act of 2021 uh, began moving through uh, Senate committees this past week. Uh, it actually moved through three committees in the Senate. So the Senate Ag, Energy, and Environment Committee, um, also the Senate Judiciary Committee, and then finally the Senate Rules Committee. So it's gone through all, all of the committees in the Senate that it needs to um, and currently scheduled for a floor vote in the Senate on uh, Monday evening. The bulk of the discussion um, in all of the committees uh, was related to the hog farm provisions in the Farm Act. Um, that particular provision um, tries to ease the administrative burden on the farmers um, when they apply for permits to put on-farm digesters. Uh, so right now, when they apply for a permit, they have to apply for what's called an individual permit. And, and what the provision in the Farm Act does um, is, is allows D, DEQ to develop what's called a general permit. DEQ would, would develop one permit for any farm that wanted to uh, put in an on-farm digester. Um, so that helps the farmers know ahead of time what the conditions are going to be, um, but it also allows the public still plenty of access uh, to uh, weigh in, make their feelings known about the permit, so they develop the general permit and then the farmers apply for it um, after the fact. Uh, there were a couple uh, provisions that we haven't talked about yet that were actually added into the into the bill this week. Um, one of them has to do with the definition of agriculture as it relates to workers' compensation. Um, so we, there's long been a um, an exemption for having to cover, carry workers' comp on farm employees as long as the farmer doesn't have more than 10 non-seasonal workers. Um, and there's been some confusion about what uh, the definition of a farm um, in those particular statutes. So this will clarify that. It uses uh, the same farm definition that we use in all of our other uh, farm exemptions that are out there. So this helps clarify that uh, for which farms need to carry workers' compensation for their employees and which ones do not. Um, there's also a, a new provision related to uh, the Department of Labor and how they do the investigations um, when a worker complains that they've been uh, fired improperly. Uh, so what this does is just it, it shortens the administrative process so that the Department of Labor comes out, does their investigation. If they find fault, then they move forward with whatever remedy needs to happen. If they don't find any, anything wrong, anything that the employer has done wrong, then that just ends the investigation and the, the issue is over.